Okay, kids, today we're going to be practicing something that I really enjoy doing. We're going to be finding the range, median, mode, and mean of a data set of numbers. And when I was in the classroom, I used to tell my kids it was called math, <laughs> which stands for all of the first letters in all of these terms. So in order for me to teach this to you, I have to explain what each of them are. So the first term that I need to define is range. Now range is the difference between the greatest and the least number in a data set. So think of, you remember that song, Home, Home on the Range? I mean, that song and a range was that huge plane from one side to the other. Well, that's what would always go through my mind when I was a student and a teacher when they would talk about range. It's something that's long and it would be from the first cow on this side to the last cow way over there. And if we had ordered our data from greatest to least, the range would be that cow on the far left and the last cow on the right. The next term that we need to define is median. And the median is the middle number in a data set when it's ordered from greatest to least. So if you have it all set up to find your range, then it's set up to find your median. Now what you have to think about though is if you have an even number in your data set, you are going to end up with two numbers in the middle. So in order to find your median, you're going to take the average of those two numbers. Mode is our next term that we need to define. And mode is the number that occurs most often in the data set. And that's neat to see too because it's the most common. Uh, mode and most sound the same. That's how Ms. Ayala would memorize it. I would think mode and most, M-O-M-O. And the last term that we need to define is the mean. The mean is just the average of the numbers in the data set. Now to find the mean, you add the numbers and divide the sum by the number of add-ins. So if you have 10 in your data set, you add all 10 and you divide by 10. Okay, now it's time to practice some. Please make sure that you've put all of these vocabulary words inside of your journal so you can go back and refer to them. Now, in order for us to practice, Ms. Ayala is going to make these small, get them out of the way, and let's see if we can figure out every single one of these for this data set. Okay? Now, remember what we said median was. The median was the middle number. Range was from this side to this side, so you're thinking from the greatest number to the smallest number. And the mode is the one that was most often found. Now, what I want us to do first, though, is we have to put them in order from greatest to least. If we do that, then we already set it up for two of these terms. So let's put them in order. What is the greatest number? Okay, then we have... Then? Then? Good. And then? Excellent. Okay, so we have two fives. Do I have to write both fives down? Yes, absolutely. If it's in my data set, I write it down. If I had five fives, I would write all five down. So now I have them in order from greatest to least. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's find the range. So let me make these this smaller, move this up. Now let's find the range. And to find the range, it is the difference. Well, what does difference mean? What operation is the answer if it's difference? That's right, that's the answer to a subtraction problem. So I'm looking for the difference between the greatest and the least number. So the greatest is 25, the least is five. The difference means I'm subtracting. So five minus five, zero, bring down my two. Excellent, so my range is 20, okay? Now let's find our median. And luckily for us, since we already put it in order from greatest to least, we were able to find the range and we'll be able to find the median right away. So the median is the middle number in the data set when it's ordered. So let's see, I'm gonna take this one, that one. Take this one away, take this one away. Take that one away, that one away. Up. Ah, what is my median? 
the median equals 12. That was the number in the middle when it was ordered from greatest to least. Now this works out perfectly because we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We had an odd number. When you have an odd number in your data set, it's easy to find the median. When you have the even numbers, we have an even number in your data set, that's when you have to do two steps. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so next, now we have to do the mode. So looking at all of our numbers that we have here, let's look at our numbers again. Which one do we see the most? Which one is repeated? Which one is shown the most often? That's right, five, because we had to write that two times. So that's the number that occurs the most. That is the mode. Now, to find the mean, mean is just another way to say average. So how would we find the average? What do you do to find the average of anything? That's right. To find the average, we're going to add all of these numbers up. So let's go ahead and write it out. And what does Ms. Ayala want you to practice? That's right, doing two at a time, adding on and adding on. Do I expect you to add all of these at one time? No, I really don't. I don't want you to make a mistake, so please don't do that. I don't want to see that. So I'm going to do these first two. Five plus two, seven, and two and two, four. Now I go back and I'll mark it. I've already used those two. Now I know these two together equal how much? That's right, ten. Okay, so I have ten there and I have nine there. Well, what is ten plus nine? That's right, nineteen. So then I can add nineteen over here. Now I'm going to make sure to cross those out because I've already used those. So what is 7 plus 9? That's right, 16. I have to regroup that 1. 4, 1, and 1? 66. Am I finished? Nope, not done yet. I still have two more add-ins. So 66 plus 18. What is 6 plus 8? That's right, 14. Regroup that 1. 6, 1, and 1? is 8. So I cross out 18. I only have one more to add on. So let's do that. What is 4 plus 2? And 8 plus 1. Okay, so good. 96. 96 is my sum. I've added all of the numbers in my data set and I got 96. Does that mean that 96 is my average? No, it doesn't. 96 is just the sum of adding all those numbers together. Now, to find the average, I'm supposed to add all of them and then divide by the number of add-ins. Now, how many add-ins did I have? Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 96 divided by 7. That is how I'm going to find the average. Okay, so now let me make some room. And let's do 96 divided by 7. So 7, can 7 go into 9? Yes, okay, how many times? Good, one time. So 7 can go into 9 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. What do I do with those two numbers? Good, you subtract them. 9 minus 7 is 2, bring down my 6. Good job, okay. Now what do I have to do? Now I have to figure out how many times 7 can go into 26. So let's keep count by our 7s. Three. That's right, it's three. Why couldn't it be four? Well, what is 7 times 4? 7 times 4 is 28, and 28 is greater than 26, so we can't use that. So we will go back to 7 times 3, which gave me 21. 21 will work. So 3 goes up here in my quotient. 3 times 7 is 21. 26 minus 21 leaves me with the remainder of 5. So the average is 13. We'll leave it at 13. This one didn't work out evenly, but that's how you find the mean, is you add up all of the numbers 
and you divide by the number of add-ins. So 13 remainder 5 is the average for this data set. But I'm going to find you another one that works out even. So let's keep practicing. Okay, let's say this is your data set. So everybody write this down in your journal. Okay? Now, first thing you do is you put them in order. How? Good. Greatest to least. So let's do that. Excellent. Okay, let's make sure we have the same amount of numbers. One, two, three, four, five. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're all set. Now, what do I do? Let's figure out our range first. How do you find range? Good. The range is the difference between the greatest number and the least number. So the range is 16 minus 4, 12. Good. The range is 12. Now how do we find the median? Good. The median is the middle number. So we'll start from the left side, cross out. Cross one out over here. So cross out, cross out. What is our median number? Median is 10. Okay. What about the mode? Do we have a mode for this data set? Nope. For this data set, we don't. We don't have a number that occurs most. So we will leave it blank. We do not have a mode for this one. And let's find the mean, which is the average. So we have to add up all of these numbers. So let's do that. And remember, Miss Isla does not want you to add them all up at one time. Let's do two at a time. Six and two, one and one, good. So mark those off, I use those. Uh, easy, plus 10, good, 38, cross that out. What's eight plus four? Good, and plus 12. Okay, cross them out, I used all of them. Eight and two, good, regroup that one. Three, one and one, okay, good. So 50, but 50 is not my mean. What am I supposed to do with 50? Good, we divide it by the number of add-ins. So let's go back and check how many add-ins we had. One, two, three, four, five. So we added five numbers. So we will divide by five. How many times can five go into five? Good, one time. One times five is five. Subtract that zero, zero, bring down zero. Can five go into zero? No, it can't. So I put zero up there. My mean is 10. Good job. Okay, I'm going to leave you with a data set so you guys can practice some of this on your own. So if I gave you this data set and I asked you for the range, here is your data set. Now remember all your steps to find range. Go ahead and pause the video so you can find your range. I hope all of you remembered first to put them in order from greatest to least. So you would have had 92 and 17. The difference between 92 and 17 is 75. Your range is 75. Okay, now... Let's find the median and the mode for this set of data.
Remember, I write, you write, so all of this should be in your journal. Find the median and the mode for this set of data. Remember your steps. Go ahead and pause the video so you can find your median and your mode for this data set. Now I hope all of you followed your steps. First thing you have to do is put them in order from greatest to least. So you should have had this written down from greatest to least. Now to find the mode, we would look at the number that occurs most often. I have two nines, one eight, two sevens, one two, three threes, and then two twos. So my mode is three. To find my median, remember what I told you is that we will grab from the ends, cross out, cross out, keep going until you get to the middle numbers. Oop, and here we ended up with two. Now remember what Miss Ayala said, if we end up with two, we add them together, then divide by two. So seven plus three equals 10. 10 divided by two is, that's right, five. So my median is five. Now for our last one to practice, let's figure out the mean for this data set. Remember your steps to figure out mean. What do you have to do first? Pause the video so you can go ahead and work to find your mean. Okay, I hope what all of y'all did was add all, add all of the numbers up. So we're supposed to add all of these together, not all at one time. Remember, we're breaking it apart, making sure we're using each add-in. And we should have gotten the sum of 50. Then we're supposed to divide by the number of add-ins. We had one, two, three, four, five add-ins divided by five. Five goes into five one time. Five, zero, bring down that zero. Five goes into zero, zero times. So my mean for this data set was 10. Okay, guys, that is how you find range, median, mode, and mean. So now it's your turn to go have some fun.